To actually implement our over-the-air updates, we'll be using CodePush. CodePush is a tool built into Microsoft's Visual Studio App Center. And App Center, though we're not gonna touch on a ton of it, is a super powerful tool and a great thing to reach for whenever you wanna do something in React Native. Again, it's built by Microsoft, it supports React Native, all kinds of other stuff. It's really, really a fantastic tool and almost in and of itself a reason to choose React Native. But basically, just go to appcenter.ms, uh, create an account or sign in. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and create an application, or in my case, I'm going to go into an organization I created and then create an app. Once we're in here, I'll go ahead and click Add an App. I'm going to name this OTA Quiz iOS. And you'll notice that despite this is a React Native project, uh, which supports iOS and Android, I want to namespace these by iOS and Android. Uh, that's going to give us flexibility to kind of run the iOS and Android apps kind of in tandem, where the reality is with React Native, you have native iOS and native Android apps. So we need to treat them differently. App Center has to treat them differently, the different release types. So you'll need to go ahead and create an app for iOS and for Android. So with that said, we'll go ahead and select a release type. I'm just going to say this is production. The OS is going to be iOS, and then the platform is React Native. We'll add that app. We can just go ahead and ignore all of this for right now. Basically, if we go over to distribute, you can see here is where we've got code push. And inside of here, it says we've got no deployments. We can go ahead and create standard deployments. And then once we do that, you can see we've got a staging up here and a production. And that's basically all the targets that we're going to have. You can go ahead and configure that and add more later on if you wish to, uh, or different deployments, so that you can really customize and have however many options that you may desire. Now before we're done, we need to go ahead and actually do the same thing for Android. So again, we'll go ahead and add a new app. I'm going to call this OTA Quiz Android. We're going to choose the same release type of production. This time our OS is going to be Android and we're going to choose React Native as our platform again. Once again, we'll go over to distribute, code push, create standard deployments. And then we're all set to go. We've got everything on the back end of App Center set up so that we can do code push deployments. Now we just need to go ahead and start code pushifying our React Native application.